All right, here we are, Stitch Shifter, Sewing Machine Heaven on YouTube. Thank you for joining us. This, of course, I don't have to mention it again, do I? It's the FOF 332. It says it right there. These are the controls. This is straight stitch. This is zigzag. Okay, this is needle left and right. You can see the needle moving. You can see the zigzag working there too. Okay, now this is a cam machine. It has, if you ever take the top of this off, this is the beauty of this machine. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is get some sewing machine oil and hit all these little red spots. Everywhere there's a little red dot in there. Turn this around slowly and you'll see a couple more down inside here. Hit all those spots with just a drop or two of oil up on the top of here. Down in the back of your uh, uh, plate down here there's a little hole right there it says OL OEL for oil and uh, just give everything a little drop of oil these are the cams uh, the cams are set with this dial here and the number that corresponds with that little red dot is the cam that you're on there is no zero setting for that okay this is what turns your cams on and off zero of course being off one being the fastest drive for the cams. See how fast the cams go. And if we have it on seven, cams go a lot slower. And of course on zero they don't turn at all. And that's just for your pattern stitching. So if you want to stitch a pattern, you're going to need to turn your cams on with that. And then also down here, if we open this up again, this dial indicator on the front operates a little rod that goes through here and either lifts or lowers these little three little fingers here. And these three little fingers operate the zigzag and the back and forth. This third lever being the back and forth. If we turn this, so it'll engage the controls in different ways depending on how this dial is set. So you got your cams, eight different cams, and you got five different dial settings for a total of 40 different stitches. And this is what the 40 different stitches look like. Cam one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then each one of these areas down here one two three four five that's all the control settings the dial settings and there you have it okay to thread it I put it through this little hole on there and then it goes up through the back hole and down through the front hole on this or front and back left and right whatever goes between your thread tensioning disc has to go between those discs if you don't get it between those discs, you're not going to have tension on there. Now you want to bring it all the way up and go around this little hook up here. You get it caught in that little notch there, then you want to go under the spring, then up to the thread take-up lever. I go through the top hole in the take-up lever. I try to go through the top. There it is. Make sure we get it under our spring. we got to go through these two little loops on the front here. through that loop there's a little loop down there and then we're ready to put it through our needle here get our needle up where we can see it and there you have it now our bobbin threads already up and it's really handy having this uh, chart like this and basically it's cam number one two three four five six seven eight so each one of these lines is uh, the corresponding cam and then one two three four and five that's the dial setting so this is the cam and this is the dial setting and that uh, tells you uh, you know say if I want to do this scallop here well actually this is screwed up number four is actually number three here and then I started four over again but um, 
basically that's it. You can pick out your stitch and then run a sample of it on the edge of your thing there or on another piece. Okay, so let's just say I want to sew two pieces of cloth together. Uh, so I got, let's just pretend there's another piece of material here and I just want to make a straight stitch. Okay, we load up our material, get our presser foot down, <laughs> set this knob all the way to zero and there we go, we have a straight stitch. Okay, this is our stitch length over here. We're going to make that uh, one and a half right there. And then if I wanted to go to a zigzag, we set that over there with the needle up, of course. And then we have a zigzag stitch. We're going to set this down a little bit so that our t stitch is a little shorter. See, that's more of an embroidery stitch. We don't want to get it too slow because it'll not up in there. Okay, let's go back to straight stitch. Now if we wanted to sew a pattern, we engage our cams up here. Let's put that on. Well, let's try a stitch. Let's try our scallop stitch. That would be number three cam six. Put that on six. Put that on three. And